What's up, friends? Welcome back to Battletech. We've got ourselves a contract. Good to go. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one it is that we're going to do, though. I think it was a story mission. Nope. What is it? It's just a, a priority mission in Polo. Yeah, it is a story mission. A few details. So, under Ostergaard's orders, the Torians are attacking our famine relief effort on Panzer. Nice. If they succeed, mass starvation will follow. They're trying to bait me into redirecting the main army and taking the field myself, but I can't let them do that. If our people are to survive, you will have to save them. We have to deal with hunger back home on Nassau Heights. Stealing food from starving people is low, even for a monster like Ostergaard. <coughs> so we've had a lot of interesting talk about uh, the missile boat setup that we have. That I'm busy outfitting right now. Uh, and... When he made the, I think it was Raheem made the comment that it'll be sad to retire the Yagamek because of how cool it is, you know, and how good it is at, and how good Glitch is at coring out enemy mix because she has a called shot mastery. But I mean, we could always try going back to a two up front, three at the back, a two at the back lineup where you have the missile boat in position three that gets the knockdown and then Glitch is the finisher. That being said, though, we've got this Thunderbolt and this Cataphract I can't wait to use. And using Missile Boat plus Yagamek means we have to leave behind either the Thunderbolt, has seven medium lasers, <laughs> and an SRM-6, and the Cataphract, which has the uh, medium lasers and AC-20. It's basically, these are basically the upgraded um, hunchbacks. And I think these are our best mech warriors. Well, Echo can shoot and move, but no, I don't really have mechs that suit that. Interesting that the Cataphract has as much armor, but just a little bit more structural integrity than Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt looks so much more imposing. We have six, gunnery of nine, eight. I can't wait to see what this Cataphract can do and the Thunderbolt can do. And of course, we've got the Highlander. Amazing mech. With respect to the way we're going to outfit our missile boat once we eventually get one, I mean, obviously, a Stalker would be the best case scenario, but they're so hard to, to get hold of. And we know we're near getting a Stalker. You guys did point out that the LRM 15s are more tonnage efficient, but I want to get to a total of LRM 40 at least. I think we set up on that Thunderbolt. We'll see how it works. And I've also I've been looking to buy LRM 20s, I haven't been focusing on the LRM 15s. I mean, and even though the LRM-15s are more tonnage efficient, I think I'm going to need a bigger mech if I'm going to run three of them for a total of 45 missile volley, whereas the LRM-2 LRM-20s gives me an LRM-40. I think the Thunderbolt has enough tonnage to do two LRM-20s, but not enough for three LRM-15s. But we'll check it out. Command interface initiated. Panzer is in a desperate shape, Commander. Famine is a fact of life here, and the Torians have targeted the spaceport we've been using to deliver emergency supplies. As we speak, the Torians have several waves of APCs, complete with battle mech escorts, en route to the spaceport's command center. If they succeed in taking it, they'll lock down our supply ships, and the people of Panzer will starve. The spaceport's turrets are down, and House Decimus is in a position to repel an attack of this magnitude. It is on us to stop them. You will defend the spaceport against the Torians and prevent their troop transports from reaching the command center. They're likely to send a detachment of our wounded as well, Commander. For our wounded as well. If you can spare a mech or two, please consider sending them to protect our barracks. Suffered too many casualties to defend ourselves. Torians have been hitting us hard, Commander. The second is nearly uh, gone. But I do still have a few non-combatant personnel left under my command, and we'll do what we can to defend the restoration. You can stop all the Torian APCs from reaching the command center. My people will get the spaceport's turrets up and running for you. I'm afraid that we won't be able to make a move if any of them get through. I just don't have the numbers to go up against Torian Marines in a ground fight. Best of luck, Commander. Stop those transports, Commander. You're the only one who can. Oh, look at my cataphract. 
That's a problem. Having my Jager make bing and firing Easy range. Easy on the armor, buddy. Yeah, she does not have the armor for that. Okay, this is very bad. It's just kind of unlucky that she started in that many more frontal like position. That. I've got to sprint her away now. Commander? Look, this should be enough. Because I'm going to move the rest of my mechs forward, so... I'm going to vigilance, though. Shit! Only 50%, but fine. Commencing Alpha Strike! I don't decide where I want to put my uh, 50 ton vehicle, where I want to put Behemoth. I think I'm going to stop moving her up the hill because she can help defend the barracks and then get height advantage enough. You can jump up here and probably cover this whole area and maybe some over there. Yep. Get a fract 60s, 40s. Can't get eyes on. I might want to reserve. Yes, Commander. Uh, loads of medium lasers. Fuck it, go for it. It's all super low, but I need one or two to hit here. And we're in a polar environment, so heat sinking is going to be very good. Oh, you want some of this? Reserve here. I want to see if that commando moves. Oh sh! Yet first APC. They should be easy to kill though. I should just be squashing them. Ready for orders. What kind of weapons are these APCs carrying? I think it matters. Moving out. Medium laser, medium laser machine gun, because they're pretty harmless. AC-20, save it. What's up, boss? Affirmative. Alright, so what kind of armor am I working with here on this Ypnir? 75 and 90 up front, that's actually pretty substantial. This little commando is going to go down, but I can only hit him with a ghost rifle, okay? If that ghost rifle hits at all, it should finish him off. A, B. Multiple enemies locked in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. right torso, right arm. Torians have dropped the transport full of commandos. If they make it to our barracks, my injured soldiers are good as dead. Please, commander, stop them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to try to sprint my thunderbolts up there. Damage is light. Hostile on sensors. Super worried about my Yagamek though. I need to keep moving backwards and shooting every turn. Owie. Waiting for orders. Just have jump jets. Only her left leg that's 66. I shouldn't be able to get finished off by one of these. But I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go to this forest covering. Unlikely I'm able to finish off that Jenna. One of the numbers. 55 is not bad. Oh, yeah. This should be fairly straightforward. A and B. Right, Commander. Mech Warriors, show them what you've got. Glitch continues to be the finisher. She's amazing at getting these kills.
making my Highlander angry with it. Sixty-five ton mech with loads of missiles. What would that be? I, 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 that's a fifty tonner, so that'll be a trench bucket. Okay. My cataract will move forward here and take out the trench bucket. Waiting for orders. Although, should I just squash that APC? I'll wait till it gets closer. What sort of precision shots are you working with here? 60s and 70s? Do it. Firing. All weapons. Ah, oh, nice 20 misses. Don't worry, it'll get squashed. Waiting for orders. I just don't see how I can stop the IPC from hitting the barracks. It'd be really hard. No problem. No problem, boss. Hey, SRMs and missiles to the face. Here you go, moron. Good shooting. Report one less vehicle. I'm hoping his back is covered by that building. Should be. Ready for orders. I think I'm probably better off from jumping here. A little bit closer. What kind of shots do we have? See, a 70 there on the SRM, I might take that. The SRM's on the Jenna. Mondo, terrible shots. Okay, so we'll just spit fire. There. There. Or maybe I precision strike the Jenna. Uh. Firing on multiple enemies. Unfortunately, I just don't think I have a fast enough mech to get up there to protect the barracks. We'll try to get Behemoth up there, but it's unlikely. I think we can kiss that secondary objective goodbye. Wolverine, okay. Reporting heavy damage. Good to go. Squash things, boys. I want to get closer, but I also need to stand still. Get the evasion. Keep pounding that tribute show. 65s, 95s. Is it worth using the precision strike? It probably is. I have to. It's the problem with AC20. I feel like I always have to use precision strike so that it even hits anything. Good to go. Fives. That could be caught out. Seventy-five. Seventy-five is a good shot. Yeah, I'll finish off the trab if I can. Affirmative. Damage. Critical hit. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, put that APC, will ya? Move order received. Right in its big stupid face. Piece of cake. One more for the trash heap. <laughs> I miss Corona, but Jimmy the Fish makes me feel better. Damage. 
Minimal. Standing by. Uh, should I just keep jumping every turn and shooting? Maybe that way I can get close enough. Maybe. Worth a try. How nice and low the heat remains. Bloody great. On it. Oh my word, really? Keep pushing them back. Show the Torians that we will never stop fighting. That actually hurts, eh? Geez, like. That shot went internal. She's gonna have to stand still now in the next turn. Oh, fuck. I need that bulwark skill. Ooh, shit. Is that my left arm that's exposed, probably? Internal structure damage. There's just so many of these little fucks. Right, you are getting on my tits, little panther, you know that. My internals are taking a beating. Ready for orders. Okay, that little APC is getting worryingly close. Move over there. Waiting for orders. Who can you finish off? Wolverine should be pretty close to going down. Three evasion charge. I think I want to target the Jenna. Fives. I'll put the AC2s on the Wolverine and the AC5s on the Jenna. If, if you know, I need to go full blast on the Jenna. I need at least an AC5 and an AC2 to hit it. All chest. weapons are go! Give them everything you've got. Enemy down! Bitch, doesn't disappoint. Yeah, he'll probably be in range on the next turn. Orders. Medusa. I gotta get Jimmy the fish into attack range on that little. Jeez, I got two vehicles coming up. Commander. Commander. I got nothing in range. Well, I suppose he needs Location to cool off anyway. Confirmed. Wonder if that's just the remaining, the Receiving. three remaining. Oh Jesus, left torso, really? What's on my left arm? Just SRM6s. Okay, I've got to turn so I can protect my left arm. That is super, super, I can't believe, I suppose, if you look at how much armor we've got everywhere else, we've just been unlucky that that left torso has kept on getting hit. 50s, 60s. Little commander, I think it's the Wolverine that I want to hit. What's on its left arm? Just its left arm. Copy that. Hot damn. Let's do this. Mech destroyed. Oh my god, more APCs. Those transports cannot be allowed to take this spaceport. Whatever it takes, we must push them back. What? Oh, that's just a commando. Whew. For a second, I was like, what is that? I'm showing that minor damage. Better not be something substantial, because one more hit to a left torso and the left arm's gonna fall off. My cataphract should be able to get into the rear arc. What do you need? Of that panther, though. I think I gotta get, I gotta be on vehicle squashing duty, though. He's got evasion. Yeah. On my way. For a bit. Armor is looking good still. 
Whoa! The 120, let's see here. If, uh, this is, I think, pretty much damn near worth making sure that I use precision shot. Let's see how you like this. Oh, I see 20! Hell yeah! Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. What? Mission failed. What? Oh, what? No! <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I got so close. Uh, oops. Okay. All right. <laughs> mission failed. So I think we've got to load up till before that mission propped. Well, that's embarrassing. Well, okay, fair enough. I didn't realize that little APC can move that quick. So, hmm. Do we leave the Jägermeck behind for this one and just go for four brawlers? Just let, let them come to us. I mean, clearly I, I, I can't push out like that. Oh, well, okay, so fair enough. It goes straight back into the loadout and the mission that we had, so. Okay, not ideal. Either the Thunderbolt or the Cataphract, if they're quick enough, maybe they can get up onto the hill there and stop that one APC from, from hitting, the, uh, hitting the barracks. And the other three mechs will just pull back around that little uh, area we've got to protect. Command interface initiated. Camera's all messed up. Did it load up to that last turn? What turn? I'm confused. What's going on? Oh, so this is, looks like that. This is that first turn. I hear ya! Yeah, they've already pounded my Nagamek. mech. Look, where do I put her? Honestly, she's fine where she is. Turd. Die! All weapons are go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Bang! You're dead! Picked up a blip. Why don't we try something differently this turn? Jimmy the Fish will just start sprinting up this road immediately to try to get high ground here, as will Behemoth. They will effectively push out that way. Hey, let's see what this baby can do! And then we can just leave Medusa, like around here, for this rear arc. Good to go. Or I'll start moving the Highlander here, and then she can take shots out that way and stop anything from sneaking around. That's probably a better way to do it. Got to so will hold this this approach. It seems like these little APCs you don't have to what worry about fuck? the damage they do because it seems like they are going to just sprint every turn. Engaging jump jet. The behemoth actually doesn't want to move, so I'm just going to jump up onto the high ground here. Then she can just turn and then give covering fire across the whole valley. Locking on. Uh, commandos, make sure our barracks. Yep. Don't worry about it, Jimmy the fish is on it. He's gonna keep uh, pushing up this road. Evasion on that commando. Damn. Out of evasion. You miss. That's the panther. You know, I want to keep pushing forward. But I kind of have to, and my brawlers are suited to that, so I kind of have to. That got through my armor, Commander! Don't worry, 
very good. She'll be fine. Standing by. And get him. Locking in. All weapons. <laughs> you can't beat the thud of an AC-20. Boom. Oh, yeah. Left arm would have been better though. Okay, now you can make one just turn around and shoot that little dick. Commander? Yeah, that's gonna core him out 100%. Affirmative. Okay, not 100%. Jet. What is the initiative? One initiative and two initiatives, so... Glitch should be able to attack on the next turn before this guy. But he moved now with... I'm confused about the go. turns now. Consider it done. Hey. I'd known it was this much mostly. Are you kidding me? I failed again. <laughs> Lol. Okay. <laughs> I've got to rethink my tactics here. I can't push forward like that. Uh, and I got to. Those little APCs keep surprising me with how far they move. Okay, so this goes down in history as my greatest episode of Battletech ever. I'm amazing. When I come back, we'll give this mission another crack. <laughs> Thanks for watching my fails, friends. See you next time. Oh, God, I suck.